Let's go. Get up, get up, and they got go. Uh. Time to wake up, time to wake up, bitch, get up. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy, videos about high-powered scooters. I'm out here on my Mantis King GT. We're gonna do a 500-mile review. You're gonna see two cool things in this video. You're gonna see the scooter, and you're gonna see some of the best tacos in the neighborhood. We're gonna go to my favorite taco truck. Let me show you the scooter first. The scooter is 75 pounds in total. Unbelievable value for the price right now. It's like 2,200 bucks. Minus 50 bucks when you use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy. So we've got dual 1100 watt motors with hydraulic disc brakes. These are just basically standard zoom brakes. They're more than enough for a scooter like this. Ample size deck, and you can see the battery is a Samsung battery. Very, very nice. Scooter's got crazy suspension. It's adjustable right here. I keep mine usually right in the middle. I haven't had to replace the brake pads yet at 500 miles, but I have put on new tires. It's a brand new rear tire. These things end up costing me about 30 bucks off of Amazon. I get a tire and a tube for 30 bucks. So I, I really recommend you learn how to do your own maintenance, your own tire. I did my rear tire when I ran over a nail and got a flat not too long ago. And my front tire at 500 miles was going somewhat flat, so I put on a brand new tire. Split rim design. That's really the most important part of this scooter, the split rim design. It's got the adjustable front suspension. I keep mine at like real medium, you know? The Mantis King GT has a 60 volt, 24 amp hour battery. You get a decent amount of range on it. At my highest speeds in fourth and fifth gear, I get about 20 miles on a delivery shift, and that's with a lot of hills. We have a lot of hills around here, and I weigh about 185 pounds. If you weigh less, you'll get more mileage. If you're gonna ride it mostly on flats, you'll get more mileage. If you can ride the scooter in third gear at 25 miles an hour, you're gonna get 40 miles range, but who the hell rides that slow? I think when you get a scooter like this, you're probably gonna put it in fourth gear as your standard gear and fifth gear for your high speed gear. Fourth gear gets you to about 30 and fifth gear gets you to the low 40s easily. With a full charge, there have been reports of 45 mile per hour runs on this scooter. The stock tires on this scooter are 10 by three inch hybrid tires. I thought the hybrid tires were pretty cool. Although I found when the front one was getting low, it really made the front end a little wobbly. So 500 miles is pretty early to replace the front tire, but I did it. And now that I have just these regular road tires on here, it's really much better. It's much smoother. Again, in crazy suspension, that adjustable suspension, I've never really ridden a scooter like this. It's pretty fucking awesome. Definitely good for the potholes and bumps that are all over Hollywood. What is this fucking prick from Colorado doing? Come on, Colorado, what's your problem? Favorite part about the scooter is not sitting in traffic. The scooter's got crazy acceleration, especially in modes four and mode five. More than enough for riding around in traffic, fighting these fucking, whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking prick. You just fucking see me there? Damn, that was like some close call shit. I don't know why that fucking truck was going. We still got a long trip to go there. We're going all the way to the uh, taco truck over on Whitley. I'm telling you, you need good speed and maneuverability. That's what saved me right there with that fucking truck. I didn't really think he was gonna keep going. When I first got into scooters in 2019, I didn't really think there was a good $2,000 scooter on the market. I have a Dultron 2 Limited, which is a great scooter, and it lasted until I got hit by a car. I got 5,000 miles on that scooter. That scooter has literally been at my mechanic's shop for like two years because it needs a new controller. And they, and they stopped making the controller for this unit, so it was hard to find. And then I started getting other scooters and I stopped riding it. But the comparable Dualtron is the Eagle Pro. That's like a low 2000s, 2500. This scooter rides 10 times better than the Dualtron Eagle Pro, let me tell you. And any day of the week, I would take this above the Klima, the Nami Klima, just because that is a brand new scooter to the market. This scooter has been on the market for a year. It's been vetted by community. It's had a bunch of early problems. One of the real early problems was they were having trouble with the stem, so they welded the weak point on the stem. So now any Mantis you buy is gonna have a nice clean weld at the base of the stem. I should show that to you when we're sitting down for tacos. Some people had trouble with their necks. The necks on these scooters were cracking, not a lot of them, but it was happening. 
So Cabo put out a version two and a version three of the neck. If you order one of these scooters now, you're gonna get either version two or version three of the neck, which is basically proven to be a problem free. So the scooter now, after going through, going through the fire of customer use, long-term customer use, put it in fifth now, is really fucking vetted. I'd rather buy a scooter that's been on the market for a year than a brand new scooter any day of the week. This thing just fucking cooks too. This thing is so fun to ride. The people that I've recommended this scooter to in, the real, in my real life bought it and fucking love it. My friend Afonso went to Vora Motors and he owns a big Nami. He wanted to get something smaller for group rides, the easier to get into his car. And he went and test rode it and he immediately bought it. And he's like a 220 pound dude, I think, a bigger dude than me. All right. I was a little worried the food truck wasn't going to be here, but I'm pretty sure they're here five days a week. Yeah, here we go. This is the weld that I'm talking about. If you know anything about welding, and I only know about welding by sight, these are perfect welds, okay? So you know it's welded very well. They don't have some shitty welder there. The new models, the previous generation of this scooter, some models were getting a very, very tiny crack. This is the neck, okay? This is the stem, this is the neck. So before these cracks became brakes, maybe only one or two broke, and then Cabo put out a version two and a version three, a thicker version of this neck, which is gonna be on any Mantis King GT that you buy now. So I just really feel like the scooter is awesome and totally vetted, and you're not gonna have any problems with it. Locking mechanism is super intuitive and easy to use. You just pull this thing out, and then this thing folds very easy, and it's very, very stiff. A trademark of the Cabo brand, I think, is a really stiff, stiff stem. What's your name? Tetsu. Tetsu? Uh, Steven. Steven. Yeah. T-E-T-S-U? Yeah, T-E-T-S-U. Tetsu. You ready? You're, you're going to be on YouTube. Look for the video. You're going to be on, on YouTube. You watch the next couple days. Okay? Did you guys see a guy with a hammer and a blue shirt? No, no, we ain't waiting now. Sorry. <laughs> that guy just asked me if we saw a guy with a hammer and a whatever. What the fuck was that? That was crazy. He was getting his yeah. first American burrito. Let me see if you like it. We got, uh, here guys, we got, I just got two beef. I got two beef and two sausage. Two, 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 uh, two Alpha story, actually, I'm sorry. All right, Tetsu, nice to meet you. You know how to do that. Have a good vacation, brother. You're a good guy, you're a fun, nice guy. You, YouTube, check. Say hello on YouTube. Say hello on the YouTube. Okay. Say hello, I wanna to talk to you there, okay? All right, watch me now. My tattoo. Wow, that was really cool. I had a real genuine, like, human moment with the Japanese tourist, he's 21 years old. And we're just hanging out out there, eating tacos and burritos. Okay, so. I really haven't made this a review of the scooter yet, right? This is supposed to be a 500 mile review. You know, I've made tons of review videos and a lot of them, especially in the early stages, on a good quality scooter like this is like I've got nothing to report. I haven't changed the brake pads. I had to change the tires, I told you that. But there hasn't been a problem with the scooter. There has not been a single problem with the scooter. 500 miles is not really a lot but it's something and I wanted to put out a 500 mile review. So my review at 500 miles is nothing's gone wrong yet. I'm still got the original rotors. I still have the original brake pads. There's no, the stem position is not decaying. It's not getting weaker or making noise or anything. But yeah, at 500 miles, it's doing good. So I'm looking forward to uh, having higher mileage reviews on it pretty soon. It's just that I don't really do a ton of delivery shifts on this scooter because I'd rather do delivery shifts on my bigger scooters just to have more mileage. Uh, with the 60 volt, 24 amp hour battery, I think I made it, I think I told you right, you're gonna get 20 miles at your highest speed. You're gonna put it in four and five and just rip around, you get 20 miles range. If you can put it in third and fourth mode, more like in third mode, you'll get 35, 40 miles range. You know, you can get a ton of range on. I just don't know people who own these scooters who drive them that slow, to be honest with you. And we have one more thing to do. Of course, we need to go to Target. 
to buy um, some junk food. Like, not a lot, just a little. I'm not on a diet, but I'm trying my best, kids. We're opening her up on Hollywood Boulevard a little bit, though. I still have to charge the scooter. I need to use it tomorrow for deliveries because both my big Cabos have flats. I don't know when this video is coming out, but as of this video, my GTR's got a flat and my GT's got a flat. I have tires in the mail coming. I have like, I went crazy on tires. I have tires coming from Voro, tires coming from AliExpress, and tires coming from Amazon. <laughs> I just went crazy with fucking tires because you want to stock up on you want to stock up on tires and brake pads. I was really glad that I stocked up on uh, Zoom brake pads because I've needed them for the big Cabos. So it's good to be stocked up on parts and shit at all times. They're not expensive. You might as well buy that shit before you need it. It's almost like everybody only buys a scooter tire after they get a flat, right? We're running lights. We don't care. You're all zombies. You cars are ruining the environment. I'm allowed to run lights. It's my karma. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. But the suspension on this thing, though, is like super fun. We love walking our scooter around in Target. And by the way, yeah, this scooter does fold and it actually gets into the car very easily. When this scooter is folded, it has a very slim profile, uh, especially at even 75 pounds. Oh my God, everybody in their goddamn phone. <clears throat> okay, fellow pioneers, let me get us on the Hollywood Boulevard and I'll sign us off. Gotta get us off the sidewalk. That is it for the 500 mile review. I highly recommend the scooter. I ride it, I love it, it's super fun. I know you're gonna like it if you ride it yourself. Don't forget to use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, use the link in description. I think the bonus code will usually be, be, be built into that link. Guys, I appreciate your support keeping the channel trucking along. I've been posting tons of content recently. I'm trying right now just to do at least three days a week. Thank you for your support, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. Set your notification for the live stream. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much.